Today's news opens with a comprehensive overview of space weather. Extreme events occurring on Earth, a remarkable study of galactic magnetic fields, and a glimpse into the preparations of another elite group. These seemingly disparate pieces suggest that they may be interconnected within a larger picture, where science still has many unanswered questions. The elite team chose what they considered a favorable location. However, as is customary in scientific news reports, any analysis must begin with what has happened over the past 24 hours on our central star, the sun. Recent observations reveal localized micro instabilities occurring within the coronal region. However, no significant solar flares or eruptions have been recorded during this period, suggesting the sun's surface is in a relatively stable state. A region of intensified solar wind originating from a coronal hole is now predicted to approach Earth in about three days. This is a factor that scientists are closely monitoring, as these winds can impact our planet's magnetosphere and technological systems. Notably, the upper left region, which at first glance appears to be a brightly active area, is actually largely composed of the base points of the surface field surrounding a single developing dark region. This relatively simple magnetic field structure makes the likelihood of energy bursts much lower than with more complex groups. However, this very stillness raises unanswered questions. Is this merely a temporary lull or is it masking deeper fluctuations in the sun's magnetic dynamics, which some theories even suspect are indirectly linked to simultaneous extreme events occurring on Earth Meanwhile, field data combined with satellite imagery shows the UAE is becoming the focus of attention after the country experienced what is considered one of the rarest weather phenomena in the region's climate history. Snow fell on cities located in the desert belt, quickly blanketing streets and rooftops, creating a scene completely opposite to the region's usual hot and dry climate. Many residents reported waking up in astonishment to a site considered almost impossible under normal, natural conditions. Meteorologists believe this is a clear sign of unusual disturbances in the atmospheric structure in both the lower and middle layers. However, the snowfall was only temporary. Under the region's characteristic temperatures, the thin layer of snow melted quickly and combined with heavy rain triggered widespread flash floods. In just a few hours, many roads that were previously dry and designed for stable weather conditions were transformed into raging waterways, disrupting traffic, affecting daily life, and causing localized infrastructure damage. More notably, at some locations. Unexpected water columns have been observed erupting from the ground, increasing the unusual nature of the event. This phenomenon is giving rise to numerous scientific hypotheses related to groundwater pressure, sudden geological shifts, or the unpredictable interaction between extreme rainfall and urban infrastructure. This series of events is forcing researchers to reevaluate regional climate models and raising larger questions about the potential link between extreme weather events in the Middle East and the ongoing global climate instability. In modern astronomy, researchers have long agreed that the observed ripples in galactic currents primarily originate from Parker instability, a mechanism that arises when magnetic fields and plasma within a galactic disk interact under the influence of gravity. However, recent analyses suggest that this explanation may not fully reflect the nature of the phenomenon. A newly published study strongly reinforces the conclusions of a 2014 paper on the structure and dynamics of galactic magnetic fields, which were previously considered theoretical and lacked sufficient observational evidence. 
According to new observational and simulation data, the galactic magnetic field is significantly more complex than the typical model of a bipolar north-south galaxy combined with a spiral field at the equatorial plane. Above and below the galactic plane exist toroidal magnetic field structures rotating in opposite directions. The study's diagrams, illustrated by red arrows, clearly show the evolution of these structures and the differences in plasma direction between the northern and southern hemispheres. The opposing plasma motion between the two hemispheres creates ideal conditions for the formation of Kelvin Helmholtz instability in the center, where plasma layers slide past each other at different speeds. These instabilities have been identified as a crucial mechanism contributing to the characteristic cloud and wave-like structures observed in galactic currents, rather than being the product of a single mechanism. From a theoretical perspective, an increasing number of scientists are leaning towards the view that galactic currents are the result of a combination of Parker instability and Kelvin-Helmholtz instability, along with a complex interaction between magnetic fields, plasma, and galactic dynamics. While this perspective doesn't change current assessments of the direct impact of galactic currents on the sun and the solar system, it opens a deeper approach to understanding how large-scale magnetic field structures operate, evolve, and may indirectly influence the space environment on a cosmological scale. Another emerging trend attracting global attention is the increasingly public preparation for survival among billionaires almost every month. International media reports on major deals in which ultra-wealthy individuals invest in areas considered strategic for long-term survival or build high-tech, almost completely self-sufficient bunkers. These actions are no longer individual decisions, but are gradually forming a systematic trend within the elite. This trend began to gain significant attention when the disaster response plans of the world's richest people were first made public at a time when Jeff Bezos still topped the global wealth list. Since then, tycoons have increasingly invested in isolated real estate, independent energy systems, long-term food reserves and private healthcare infrastructure. These large-scale investments demonstrate that the planet's wealthiest class is quietly preparing for extreme risk scenarios that go beyond the safeguards of current social and economic structures. Notably, while the elite's strategic survival moves are constantly being observed, the agencies and individuals responsible for reassuring the public have failed to deliver commensurate messages about the level of safety and stability. The increasingly stark contrast between official assurances and the discreet preparations of the upper class is fueling skepticism in society. This gap raises serious questions about the nature and severity of the potential risks, as well as whether the public has truly been given full access to the full picture of the emerging challenges. According to the latest announcement, the summer solstice party will officially take place at Observer Farm in just two days. This event is considered a milestone to close out the old year and strengthen community spirit. The organizers are calling on the public to attend, to meet, connect, and share in the communal space of Observer Farm alongside this event. The Observer Farm membership program continues to be introduced as a long-term focus. Individuals planning to visit the farm in the coming year or wishing to engage with the community are encouraged to join with benefits including free overnight stays, inscription on the founder's wall, discounted rates, access to the health center, participation in member exclusive events, and direct contributions to children's education programs. In parallel, the organizers also highlighted a special offer for followers, a 10% discount on essential stocking items at Heaven's Harvest. The products featured are traditional organic foods, 
geared towards long-term preparation rather than conventional dry goods. The offer is valid with the promo code SOLAR. A program representative stated that this is part of a message encouraging proactiveness and sustainable preparation and expressed appreciation for the community's support. All relevant links were provided with the announcement.